Hello everybody, my name is Alexa and welcome to another video. So today we are doing a different bit, a different kind of video. We are actually going to do a little bit of a guide video. I wanted to show you guys how is it I label my villagers houses with these little plain wooden shop signs. Simply because sometimes when I go and I visit other towns, you know, everyone has 10 villagers. Hi, Phoebe. I, and I, like, don't know where they live. And they'll tell me, like, oh, such and such villager is making a DIY. And then I'm running around checking all the houses because I don't know who's who. So, as you can see, I kind of have all of my villager houses labeled with wooden signs. So, that way you can know where everybody is living. And, thankfully, I've managed to find uh, codes for these villager portraits and such. But I am going to show you a different way of doing it if you cannot find your villager like kind of pre-made because i understand that like not all of us are are artistically talented so let's uh get started so the first thing you're going to need is the plain wooden shop sign diy it only needs six wood and you can also just kind of place an easel outside of your villagers houses however i like to use the plain wooden shop sign because it is customizable and i like to make the little signs white because that's kind of like my general aesthetic you also have the option of other colors as well so it would probably be helpful if i actually crafted one of these huh so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to open up the customization option so you guys can see what colors you can make the plain wooden shop sign so you have your option of natural which is just a natural wood color white and then you also have like a darker wood color as well and then you can also change the flyer obviously we are going to need to do this with a custom design to use it to label the villagers so i mean you can play around with these if you want these are quite silly i like these um however we are going to need to use a custom design so i am making this tutorial under the assumption that you have already upgraded your maple shop I suppose or like already have the mabel shop so you should have seen mabel i believe it's three times and she should already have a shop and you should also have internet connection as well and i believe you do need a nintendo switch online account to do this as well so now we're gonna go ahead and scurry on over to the able sisters location so we can use the i forget what it's called i just call it the machine we have to use that little machine to uh look up some ids i do have some creator ideas on hand so i do want you guys to kind of check those creators out uh, they have made a lot of animal crossing villagers portraits so should be easy for you to find they're not in any kind of particular order so you will have to kind of dig through them and i'm sure there are plenty of other creators this is just the creator codes that i use so that you guys can see so i will be having those in the description below so as you can see this creator has made a lot of villagers here there are three full pages of villagers as well as the other codes that they have more villagers here i appreciate that that they did that they had it all in one place i like that so i got lucky this is where i found my punchy code when i had midge this is where i found midge's picture as well and then you have like you know you have dom and apollo and zucker and if you go through the list you can basically find most of the villagers i say most of because obviously i do not expect this person to make 390 plus villager portraits but she did uh make a good chunk so you have all of your villagers here and these are what's going to be available with the coordinating creator id on the lower left to which, you know, if you look up the other ones that she had on the top, you should be able to find more. But I digress. This is basically how you would do that. So, for example, I'm just going to do this as an example. I am going to take Zucker's picture and I'm going to save it. And I'm going to close that because I know that already. So, this is, you pick a spot. And obviously, I already have my 10 villagers. I will change it with uh, Punchy's I guess so now if we actually go to punchy's house where i have placed that sign in front of punchy's house you can actually see that now it's going to be a zucker picture obviously if you didn't have this you would save it in a separate file and then you would customize the 
wooden shop sign to be whatever picture it is that you saved. So we're gonna run. I'm gonna show you Punchy's new sign, and then I'll have to change it back to Punchy. I don't even know why I did it like that, but I guess this is what happens when you don't script your videos. <laughs> so as you can see, Punchy's uh, picture was replaced with Zucker's because I did override it. I don't have the space. I probably should have just deleted one of my <laughs> designs to do this better. But yes, yeah, so now you can see I was able to do this. Uh, let me see another example. Okay, so this is me replacing... <laughs> I'm gonna replace the picture of Zucker. I'm gonna put Punchy back so that I can oversave. So that's gonna be easy too. Uh, the reason that I did that, I'm gonna totally pretend that I did that on purpose. The reason that I did that is to show you that actually even after your villagers move out, it's not too much of a hassle to kind of just replace their sign because you can really just find their picture again and kind of just save it over. So now Punchy sign is back to being Punchy sign. And what I will actually show you now is what to do when you don't find your villagers portraits and but you want to label their house but you couldn't find like the qr code or something or you want all of them to look the same at least i'm going to show you another idea that you can do so what i've done now is that i took the time to find a higher resolution picture of spike and what i'm actually going to do now is insert him into a photo editor of my choice and i've actually taken the liberty to crop it and also kind of like a racist collar and stuff so he's kind of just a floating head and now what I'm actually going to do is I am going to take this picture that I have of Spike now and I am going to upload it into acpatterns.com. I am going to kind of adjust these information panels here. So you can do that. I, sometimes I kind of just leave it as empty because I don't really care. But we can name him Spike. Author is Alexa. That's me. Town is Mapleton. And then type, we'll just leave it as normal to which we would save. And then what we will do is we will press con convert. Speaking is hard. And then we're going to find that high res picture of Spike that I have no idea where it is. Okay, I uploaded the picture of Spike. I do seem to be struggling in terms of cropping. It seems like I made it too big. This is where you're going to kind of play with your picture in the editor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand the canvas i'm going to leave all this in the video typically this would be something that i would crop out but this could be helpful that if you do run into this problem and it doesn't fit you know what to do so expand the canvas so that he has more room in the middle and then you can actually just kind of center it in the editor so we are going to cancel we're going to click convert again and we're going to open that same picture now that i saved all of that see so now he's more in the center it could still be a little bit better, but I am going to leave it as it is just for the sake of this video. And then you can choose how many patterns wide you want it to be. So these, I don't know how to explain this. Um, This gets a little bit more complicated. These are for the people that want to make a really big picture and they want it in like a bigger, like you ever seen those like pictures that like, people take a picture and they make it like the entire wall in their house but every individual square is a different part of that same picture it's kind of like that this is what this is i don't mess with that because i only want it to be one tile to keep my life simple so we click next and then we have this picture of spike obviously it's going to look kind of th like this <laughs> to which you would play around with the settings to your liking i usually leave it at nearest and then i usually put it as like high quality or sharp pixels do not use this as a super like set in stone how it's gonna look i also don't understand what this transparency is oh that's what that is okay <laughs> i never played around with that to that degree so i apologize um oh wow okay so do not use this as like a set in stone way after you convert it you do have the ability to go in and finesse it however it is you see fit so obviously this is kind of how it's gonna look but it still looks a lot better in um in the actual game but you do have a little dropper here you do have a little palette here to finesse it to your liking something that i didn't do when i first uploaded spike's picture was that i didn't fix his little scar and that was something that kind of bothered me. So 
I'm going to take advantage. I'm going to finesse it this way now that I have the time. And then I'll be right back. Okay, so this is me after I kind of finessed it a little bit, finished some you know, fix some pixels that I didn't like the way they looked, gave them a little smile. You can finesse this however it is that you want. And so now that I'm actually done, what I'm going to do is I am going to generate the QR code. And now this is my picture of Spike. I did kind of change the shadowing and the coloring a little bit. And now what you're actually going to need is, again, you're going to need the Nintendo Online app that allows you to scan the QR codes and then upload it into your games. And now that it's saved onto my Nintendo account, what I'm actually going to do is we are back on the in the game. And then what we can actually do is we have the custom designs app and I believe what you do is oh yeah, here it goes. Yes. So you'll see that you have an option on the lower right that says download. So what you're going to do is you're going to press plus and then you connect to the internet to which it would communicate with your account. And then look, so now it says a custom design named Spike was found. Please select the save slot to which I will save it over my current Spike picture because it's not the best. He looks kind of angry. So I kind of finessed it to make him look a little bit happier. And I fixed the outline a little bit as well because it was a little fuzzy. So now I have my <laughs> kind of like a giant picture by comparison to everyone else. But this is kind of just like a quick fix to make sure that Spike has a picture at all. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go outside Spike's house and then we are going to see what his new picture looks like. Hi, Apple. Thank you for sweeping. So this is Spike's picture. So as you can see, it is a lot smoother than the original kind of like preview that you were given before, you know, so they did find a way to kind of like not make it look so pixely so there is that so you can tell that that spike generally i probably should have taken some time to trim the pixels on the top i did take some time to like give him a smiley and all that but i digress you get it now this is spike spike lives here you learned that information because of this sign and nice and quick so i kind of like that instead of running around and reading all of these signs that tell you where villagers live so i kind of just like covering that up actually and just putting the picture there so that you know instantly so that's kind of like a workaround for if you don't find your villager portrait obviously this spike picture looks a little bit different from the yuka picture but hey man you do what you gotta do so uh you can also do this with the easel to which i am going to demonstrate now so you if you don't have the plain wooden shop diy you can display it here as a painting I personally like the plain wooden shop sign DIY version better. Oh, did it? Oh, cool. So you can kind of do that. That's kind of like a workaround until you get the DIY. Same concept, you know, it labels the villagers. So either way, that's nice and quick. And yeah, that's how I do it. That's how I like to have my town organized. So if you would like to do something like that, now you know how so anyways i guess that's the end of this video now if i didn't make anything clear i did not script this video so if you guys have questions feel free to ask them in the comments below i am sorry that i am not good at scripting videos <laughs> with that being said thank you so much for watching this video i hope this was helpful to you i don't think i'll be doing any more guide videos in the future because i am not good at them either way thanks for hanging out with me and i'll see you next time Bye.